Hello and how are you? My name is Mahindum Bark and I welcome you to our 45th lecture of creating a complete inventory management system. So in this lecture, we're going to see how we can put our application on Google Play Store. Uh, in the previous lecture, we have managed to do up to the last point whereby every button of our application is working. So we're going to see now how we can put this application on Google Play Store. We always do 40 minutes, so I'll go ahead and start our counter. So to put your application on Google Play Store, first of all, you need a Google Play Store account. And to get a Google Play Store account, just simply come here and search Google Google Play Store. Account. So according to your country, uh, you'll go ahead and apply for it. Sorry. So you just come and search developer account, not developer account. Then you'll see here Google Play Console. Uh, that is a place where you can purchase a Google account. So it is uh, $25 according to my country. However, your country, it can vary. So you go ahead and go through the process of purchasing. Now for me that I already have an account, so i'm not going to need to purchase but purchasing is very straightforward so we are going now to upload our play our application to go place to account so i'll assume that you've already sourced one so to, to upload the place to account you'll come here to and select the account that you want to use and i'm going to use this one okay so I have many but i'm going to use this one so after doing that so this is how the play store account looks like so what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to go ahead and say create an application. So when you click on create an application, you go ahead and give your application a name. Inveto. That is our name of, that's the name of our application, Inveto Track. Okay. So you can keep it as one name, something like that. All right, so after doing so, it is in English. So it's like in English, it's a mobile application. So put up and then say it is free. And then we're going to say, yes, it means the Google what? And then accept the yes clause and then go ahead and create it. So application has been created. Now created now here, there is a very long form that's going to take us a whole day to create, to submit. All right, so testing, you can skip this testing part. Set up your application. So we begin here. Uh, now we begin with the privacy page, set privacy policy. So I'm going to come here and so uh, generate uh, generate privacy policy page. So I come here, there is this free one. I think this one the most popular. Let me use this one. And then come here and say free privacy page generator. And this it's a mobile application. Say so next step. I need to log in maybe. Let me log in here. But this login always disturb me. Okay. These people always disturb me with login. Let's first see if we can create without login. Okay, it's a mobile app. Aha, uh -huh, what's the name of your app? It's called Inveto Track. And then what is the entity? It's, I'm a business. Huh? I'm an individual, you can create an individual, country based Uganda, and then say next, uh -huh. email address, I can provide what does personal information collect, email address, first name, last name, phone number, uh, address does not collect, does not collect location, collect pictures, proceed, uh, how do you contact by email, so you put your email about 360 at gmail.com case and then uh, and then say next I uh, choose professional policy I say no I don't have professional say next uh, so you put here uh, the email that should receive this link about 360 at gmail.com okay that's my email say generate it's free so generate for me a policies page and then say send me the link 
oh yeah and then i can copy the, the link as well here so they have sent me the link as well so it's a policy page so if i open it incognito and i paste it here i'll be able to see the inverted flag policy page free of charge so i'll come here and paste it here so that's step number one we proceed go back this is a very hectic thing app access so you go to app access uh -huh. functionality is available without access no all functionality available with access then you put here the administrator how someone can log in so we're going to put here how someone can log in so let's go ahead and use that join at gmail.com i think uh so we put here the instruction so I say maybe to access admin use the following following email and and what and password so the, you put here the email that is working so for me i know john at, at gmail.com is working and password is four three two one and then go ahead and add so you can first test that to make sure that uh, okay what are they saying here any other information okay no other information is required so let's go ahead and first test and see if everything is really working as how you submitted it before you otherwise your application will be rejected so let me try to log in here my email is john at gmail.com password 4321 login okay, it is logging in so it is correct so I, I go ahead and do it and add so and save uh, so that is it so that is it so up access i go back up access is done uh, we go to advertisement no my app does not contain advertisement for now save and go back uh content rating okay let's go ahead and do content rating that's another hectic thing all right email address mobilehood360 at, at gmail.com it's not a game and then save uh download the application contain rating relevant sex does not contain sex things user content sharing it does not contain sharing online content products listings like amazon no promotion of sale age restricted action no no does not contain this malicious no does your app applying users current uh -huh. mm -hmm. does your app users digital goods no does your app web browser engine no does your app primarily news no it's not a news application i save i say next uh -huh. and then i go ahead and save this okay so after saving this start new questionnaire no i don't start a new questionnaire let me go back hope that is uh, is done target audience okay targets 18 and over that is done appeal to children no uh -huh. i save this and then i go back to dashboard uh -huh. is it a news application no it's not a news app i save and go back uh -huh. does it cov contain covid information my app is not publicly available for covid yes that's not contain covid19 all right proceed data safety what am i collecting next 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 start yeah that's another hectic place Doo -doo -doo -doo. does your app collect and or share users data does your app collect encrypt no it does not encrypt uh-huh do you collect username i collect username and password delete url remember we have the delete url it is here so you have to create this deletion form so let me come here and paste it here aha uh -huh. username and authentication username and password so that's what they correct okay uh do you provide users to request yes 
and then I put here the link where they can request delete your information. Uh -huh. I go ahead and save. Yeah, so that is done. Which type I don't I don't collect the location. Uh huh. I collect the name of the user. I collect their email. I collect their phone number. Yeah. Male or female? Hmm. I collect that. Is I collect? Mm hmm. Financial. I collect the financial credit card. I don't collect these ones. Uh huh. Uh, fitness. I don't collect anything in fitness. Messaging. I don't collect. I collect emails. So a user has email, including email subject and line. I don't collect any of these ones. Uh, photos and videos. Yes, I collect photos. Uh -huh. Audio files. I don't collect any. Files and docs. I don't collect any. Calendar contact app activity. Let's see this. I don't collect any web browsing. I don't have web browsing. Doesn't launch your browser. I know it does not. Okay. App information and functionality. I don't collect those ones. Uh, device ID. I don't collect those ones for now. I go ahead and say next. So am I collecting each? This one is collected. No, that is processed infinitely. I don't know these things even. I just press yes. For app functionality, uh, user can choose not to collect data. No, that is required for app functionality. I save. I come here to email address. It's collected. Yes, is. No, it's not. Uh -huh. That is required for app functionality. I save. Come here. It's collected. Yes, it's required. That is collected as user can't can turn off. Uh -huh. for app functionality. Mm -hmm. Sex orientation. It's collected. Uh, yes, data, app functionality. I think that's it. Then lastly, videos and photos. It's collected. Yes, collected. And user can choose not to use the photos. Uh, data is user can choose not to use. Uh huh. File functionality. Yeah, it's another hard place. Save. Yeah. Do, 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 do. I'm done saving. I can click back to the app dashboard. Alright, that part is done. Is it a government application? No, it's not a government application. Uh -huh. Go back. Where are we now? Financial features, uh, personal loan. No, I don't collect any of these one. Mobile payment. I say does not provide financial features. Next, and save, and then go back. All right, so that's done. Select the app category. Uh huh. Set an app. Manage tags. Can say maybe. Uh, shop let me see if it has some shop here okay app tracker travel design uh, ha, 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 beauty business can add business how, how many do they want add up to five okay this is a business uh, is it does it have cal calculates I think that's it. Uh, let's see if they'll accept that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Store listings. Email address mobilehood three six at gmail dot com. Phone number plus two five six. Seven eight three two zero four six six five website that's optional save hmm? plus two five six valid eh? plus two five six two five six seven eight three two zero four six five I think that's it save yeah that's okay now all right external marketing advertise I think that's okay let's go back yeah dashboard 
select app category and provide details i think that's already done uh, that's already done though they don't see that it is done i think that's already done okay now we come to set up store listing inventor track uh -huh. description uh so I'll come here to our gemini um, create uh less than 80 this group less than 80 color stars that characters say it is that describes the app so okay for me I don't want to suffer clear their suggestion mobile application inventory management we use that one mobile okay I don't know mobile app for inventory management a full description uh, how many uh, create full description bracket less than 800 characters for the app to be put on google play store so this guy's going to create for me the description i don't need to suffer okay there we go 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 uh, yeah, I think I take I can take this one. Hmm? Those are sixty-nine characters. Okay, I'm good with that. Generate. Save. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay, okay, you have to add the pictures. Ha ha ha, app icon. So they want an app icon which has the. Let me go ahead and open my. My Photoshop. 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 These things are too much, I tell you. They are too much, too much. So I come here and say create new uh, logo width 515 and height. 15 create it so i'll come here and put our logo so i remember we had just some logo here you know in photo track so we had some logo somewhere come here to our assets so i'll come here and say open in what open in finder that's our logo can drag and drop it here and just for using so I put it here. I put it here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Save it. Uh huh. Let's see. Got to make it balance. Do things. That's okay. That's fine. So I press Ctrl Shift S. And then I make it transparent logo. Yeah, I think that's okay. Let me save it on desktop. Desktop and call it Inveto Track Logo. Let me just come here and create somewhat. 
let me create some um, some folder for this project data track I create on desktop and that's where I'm going to put the logo yeah there we go so let's go ahead and upload that logo uh -huh. country invader track select the logo hope it's going to accept it hope they're going to accept it yes they accept it okay graphic image graphic image 120 by 500 so that's i'm going to use camtasia i mean canva wood canva so you can create an account here for canva if you don't have one ah, so they want custom dimension so i come here new and this custom size dimension so they want uh, a graphic of 100 what 124 i mean 1024 1024 1024 by by 500 by 500 and create it so i can come here and come and search here some templates so mobile app uh, so i can use this one should we use this? Uh, huh? Should we use this one? I see there are many here. Where is this one also? Yeah, let's use this. I can use this one. Yeah, let's use this one. All right, so let's go ahead and say maybe get here some tagline you know here they're done here for us some so i can put here inventor truck Here. A try. Then can I put here our tagline. Track stuck and gain insights on the go. Okay, so come and get our logo okay so let's come and get our screenshot get some screenshot Screenshot. Take this one first, and you see how to look like. Yeah, come and drag and drop it here. I think that's right. We just work with colors here. Use this one here, and then use this. I think you can go with that. Please go with that without wasting time. Let's download it now. Can remove this maybe. Okay, let's go with that. Download. Mm -hmm. 
come here come and drag and drop it hope they accept it yep they accept it uh -huh. upload at least two tablets two tablet photo screenshots no tablet screenshots how am i going to get them hmm? you can come here to screen short huh? no. screen screenshot generator okay. so this one that's called device shots Okay, they want a tablet, so I can come and get a tablet. Look on a tablet. Mm -hmm. mm. So which dimension they want? Come here, say settings. Mm -hmm. Template here. The dimension. I think canvas here. So Google wants which dimensions? They want um, it's in three hundred pixels width. Two height three hundred pixels and width two eighty four. Is it that? these things also let me first try and drag and drop this one and see if i accept it did they accept it i think they did they squared and just switch this and get another one and get another screenshot Maybe for example for for sales. Okay, maybe for my stock. Let's get for my stock. Uh, for categories. For sales. See how it is boring, eh? Get another tagline. Okay. this one taking the first one only very very boring mm -hmm. this form is very boring let's go back here drag and drop it hope they accept it yeah they accept it we we'll go with those ones you drag and drop this one to here and it here hope they accept those two okay we go with those two drag and drop this one drag and drop this one they are rejected the one portrait ones Okay. 
so i think this is the place now when they want your screenshots let's see let's take for example one directly from here drag and drop it you can do with these dimensions as well mm -hmm. let's take one from using this phone let me save it to desktop better track let me upload the one that i've just taken if they reject it yeah they accept it aha uh -huh, so let me come and take this one also save it as two let me come and okay this one I take it, I save it as three. Come and get example for creating a record. Uh -huh. Let's see, I get switch that on a record. Mm -hmm. Take a screenshot. Call this one. Save it. Call it four. All right, let's upload those ones. Come and select all this. And then. Yeah, it's okay. Come on, put this one the main. Put this one here. Uh, yeah that's fine the upload here so I'm going to upload the same here maybe you can also add some login screen Come on, oh, it has been rejected. My god, I think this one, like, said this the one that we got from web, this one, and this one. Hope those two will be accepted. Oh, shit, it's uh, rejected. It's painful. Mm, let's go ahead and create it. Come to Camtasia. Come and create new with what? With 180. 180 by 720. Okay. This thing can really disturb. Mm. dimensions are these ones is it necessary i don't think it is option i think yeah let's skip it save yep 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 it is saved they have accepted okay all right that's the most hardest part we are done fresh we are done most of things are okay now we go to the release creating a release Okay, so we got now to the project. So we come to the project. Uh, we are going to install a package called. We are going to install a package called. Um, package called what? Package. Package. Yeah. We are going to install a package called. Uh, Forgotten ETV. So come and search Flutter package change. Hmm? 
change app package name that is the thing that we're going to install so copy and we're going to install that one installing use this command to install it so i shall come into our terminal and run it okay so we're going to change our package name so you first check if the package name is not on google play store so you can call it for example and go ahead and search for example inventor track okay so you can come and search play store okay so this is some kind of application so come and search here just like this let's say our app we want to make give it a name inventortrack.com that should be our package name so you see here there is an app called in Inota, Ino, inotact something like that so just come here where there is app id uh, come this app come here where there is equals to here where is id equals to so come and put for example the name of the package that you want to use so for example put inventortrack.com you see the app is not there so the app is not there yet even the sister the website is not there yet so let's go ahead and create it and use that as the name of our package so you can also come up with your own let me come and comment it here on top so i can be able to write the command so i'll come here so after finding out the, the the app is not there come and change now your package name For example flutter package name change package name this one eh? so come here to example and we're going to run the command eh, sorry change package name flutter okay so we're going to run this command okay this command so copy the command and then come and put it in your front of a package name you see so my command is going to be flutterpub.run change main like this and then you put your new package name here okay so that's going to be our package name so go ahead and come here to terminal and then clean and then run it so it will go ahead and change your package name so your package name is this one okay all right so after doing that now we're going to go to well, let's add i'm going to go to our android folder so come here to your project and then come to where there is um, assets i mean so come to your android folder then come to where there is app we want to change the app name we want to change the app name you see our app is called flutter ui so we're going to change this app name so come to the app and then come to android then come to the app and then come to main then come here to manifest okay come to manifest so flat uh, underscore ui that has been your app name <laughs> yeah so come here to where there is label okay here to android manifest here where i've shown you where there is label so i'm going to put here the name of the project so it's called inverto inverto track like that with a track you can put space you can leave it like that uh that's the app of the name the label uh so app name you can leave it like this mm -hmm. so let me see what there is flutter ui and we replace it pub spec i think here we need to change it maybe it can cause some issues let's see if it causes issues we'll find out shall figure ah uh, so search also flutter ui so search whatever name you're using and see uh, yeah i think this one can leave it the way it is because we're going to crash the whole thing so this label is all that matters now here you go ahead and put the name of your package i mean the name of your logo so i'm going to copy the logo and come and put it here in the resources drawables and then i'm going to put it here okay so I'll go ahead and go get our local second right click here and say open in what? Open in file. 
explorer if you're using windows so you can just say open in finder if i'm using mac so i'm going to get a app logo okay app logo is under desktop and uh inverter track inverter track or is it folder here and then our, our logo is this one this one here so i'll copy that logo and come and paste it here and then i'll rename it yes i'll rename it logo okay remember i'm putting this one inside drawable drawable this one okay under my resources so it's application android app resources main resource drawable and that's why i put our logo so i come here and so you see our logo is here so okay you can see where it is like that so i'll come here and put here remove this map map and put at drawable like this at the uh, drawable like this okay this is on a stroke logo i mean a stroke map map so stroke drawable make sure that you write the word drawable properly and put logo like this without an extension one like this uh -huh. so permissions check if it has internet permission if it doesn't have come here and search uh, internet permission android or is your app will not work when you apply it on play store so come and copy this permission and add it yeah i don't know whether even i add it i think you add it here in the in the application mm -hmm. no. mm -hmm. on top of application uh, so. yeah on top of application that's where you add the permission so add this permission uses android permission internet otherwise your application will not work when you upload it on play store okay so make sure that you add that Okay, so let's go ahead and stop the app and then run it again and see if it will show the correct logo and the correct package again. So run the app again, we wait. And we see if it will show the right label and the right logo. hope i select the right device yes i did so you see the logo is okay yeah everything is fine everything is fine come on try to log in join a gmail a gmail.com password for three two one try to log in it has logged in successfully come to your app you see the app name has changed and the logo has changed so that's beautiful now you're good to go now after doing that now we're going to upload the application on uh, <laughs> on uh, on play store so i'm going to upload the application on play store now we're going to generate what you call the app bundle the app bundle so there are different ways of how you generate it for what i'm going to do i'm going to use the common way that i always use so what you're going to do you're going to close your your project close everything okay now uh go to open project and go to your project okay so my project is under github and go to inverter track my project is called inverter track or is it it is here inverter track mobile and then you open the android folder open the android folder and inside inverter track inside your project find the android folder and then go ahead and say open so it's going to take time to compile so you have to wait for it so you may first run your project and see if it is working okay first run your project and see if it is working 
if you open it as Android. So let me first run it. Okay. So I'll come here and run my project. That's not accepted. Come here to uh, app. It has not been detected as Android. Okay, I think I've not detected it. It is still compiling. Eh? I think we have to wait for it. So I'll have to wait until it finishes, then it will be detected as an Android project. Let's wait. For this to compile and finish so i had first wait my what my 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 android to install uh missing packages so i remember we've just opened uh, the android what the android folder so you also maybe have to wait until it finishes installing the packages and the rest. So after it finishes doing that, now we're going to compile. You, you run your application and make sure it is running. Remember here you're running the Android folder. You're running the Android folder, not the, pro, not the Flutter project. So after doing that, uh, you're now going, we are now going to compile uh, the package that we're going to upload on Play Store. So to do that, you can you will just come to build and then come here to generate uh signed bundle stroke apk okay so when you click on generate signed bundle stroke apk it will bring a pop-up or is it <laughs> okay generate bundle stroke signed apk then click on generate bundles and there the old generate bundle stroke signed apk yeah this is what i was looking for Build generate bundle stroke apk there and then you click on uh, app bundles and then click on next uh so here you select where you want the, the, the package to be uh, to be stored so me i'm going to select uh the other folder that i created so i'll just simply click here and say create new so when you click on create new you select where you want the, the package to be stored to be to be saved i'm always putting the same project so i'll come here and just simply come to uh, my project which is under on desktop okay you're under github and then come to inverter track here's the project inverter track mobile it is here and then i'm going to to put it there the jks file so the name i'm going to call it uh inveto track dot jks okay. i thought i'll blast the name the extension should be like jks and then i say save okay that's going to be the name of the project so after doing that the next thing we're going now to put now the credentials eh? so i'm going to create my credentials here So what I do, I create a new file, just come and create a totally new file. So new file, and then I can code it. Maybe I can save it as um, uh, Inveto, Inveto, Track, uh, Credentials, 
uh -huh. where am I saving it? I'm going to save it under my project under inverter track it's here so it's a file that I'm going to be storing just my credentials so I don't forget okay so i'm going to begin begin by putting passwords so let me put here my password that i'm going to change it immediately after the video <laughs> uh, let me first pause the video and create my password so i've created my password i'll come and paste it here you paste the same password here and let me paste it here and also here so here are the alias okay so alias like uh, and put here upload okay so come and put your alias as upload so you i'm saving this in this file so that i should not forget okay and then after i come here and put my first name mohindo last name mohindo baraka and unit organization organization unit and you can say maybe i'm a developer and then organization i can say a tech consults City, Kampala, uh, Province, Ntinda, Country, UG. So I put that information there, like this. Then after, it will be fed in this. So your project, I mean your file is going to be saved here in this folder, Inverter Track, Stock, uh, JKS. I go ahead and create next. So the password, you put them here and here, and can remember them and say next. So then you say release, you select here release, okay, and then say next. So you wait for it to create. So you can say add, add. So you wait for it to create the the package that you're going to upload. So you wait for it to build, it can take some time. So let me pause the video as it is building. So have finished building the package so you click here to locate where it is so you say locate then we're able to see release.ab so this is the package that i'm going to upload so i'm going to come to to the browser remember i have click on create release and then i uh, come here to release show more what is it <laughs> so you come to release so is it release uh -huh. release so create new release here product the production then separate new release and then here choose key signing use different key let google manage and protect my key recommended hope that is okay hope that is okay so we are going to upload here the project huh? Still loading. Let's wait. Mm. All right, so we're going to upload here the project. So I'll come to I'll come to the package that I've just compiled, which is this one. Okay, and then. I'm going to drag this .ab file and drop it here. Drag and drop it. Okay, so let's wait. Let's hope it's going to work. So I'll wait till it finishes download uploading.
yep it has finished uploading successfully that is so nice so it's going to be our version so uh, we put here what's new so you can say maybe uh, create account uh, login to existing account and then uh -huh, uh, register uh, create what financial periods and uh, then manage stock categories okay manage stock categories uh, manage um, manage what manage stock items uh, manage uh, stock records uh, manage employees okay and much more so these are the things that are going, that are going to be in the app and then I say next I save that I select the countries where I need the app to be I see we have here three errors complete this declaration form say yes eh? does our app contain I say no it does not contain an advertising ID I hope it's not many let's see let's see more errors we go back uh, okay so I come back at release to production and come to countries so I select the countries where the app should be I say all countries and save this is the place where I leave into the country that you want your app to exist and come back to dashboard okay I see there's no more errors I think there's no more errors come back to production I'll come back to release yeah, I think everything is all right so we have to upload the application for review okay so let's see show more let the upload it okay mm, i have to submit it for review select the application category i think we finished this one why is it not checked let's try to add more categories some app select app category manage more tags let's try to add more I think that's all okay. that's all let's just look for the submit for review app content did you finish this yep i think you finished this everything here is checked i want to send it for review why do we send it for review release overview okay this is here i think you come here yeah it is here so under production release overview click next so you see if there's no any more error i see there's one more owning your app cannot be published yet please complete the listed dashboard uh what else have we three completed my god uh -huh. complete publish release tasks select countries i think we finished this one create release this one we finished we need to create a review this one is finished i see this one is not checked i don't know why i don't know why it's an app let's try to edit this and we see it's an app okay i think this is the problem category business maybe that is the problem yeah let's go back let's go back and see View release overview. Uh -huh. Click here. Click next. Yeah, the errors are gone. Warning the app bundle. I think these are just optional. Yeah, the errors are gone. Okay, then we save. Then we go to review. And then it says send for review and then wait so 
it has been sent for review come here to review so if you come here to your app dashboard it should show you under uh, the review so there we go application is now under the review so we shall wait and come back and see when the application has been approved and then it shall be ready for google play store and people will be able to download it so that is our system and uh, i hope it has been an interesting journey i hope you've learned a lot of things and you can base on that to make much 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 more things all right see you in other courses goodbye